So hello, today just, well this evening, uh, just heading out in the car, I had a bit of a failed attempt at a, a surprise storm that hit us the other day, yesterday, put the video up and uh, I lost a lot of stuff because the camera just went berserk with the static from the storm, the radio was off the scale with it so I had to switch off the antennas and everything. But uh, just this today, this afternoon, I've been kind of watching what's been going on with storms round about. And in the same way as I said in that video that the forecasting just is, is crap just now, so is this uh, lightning map site. Now, what I've been watching is stuff that's been happening far away, but it's not been showing anything here. But a little look out the window and <laughs> have a look at the colour of that. I mean, that is just absolutely grey grey there's a mountains in there somewhere and so I'm gonna go down I need to get fuel for the car so I'm gonna go down get fuel for the car and just see what's what I've heard a couple of rumbles the stuff coming from further over is over towards the valley that ends up with RCR and uh, there's been a lot happening there according to the the lightning maps website but nothing here but I mean it just looks totally different firsthand so let's go and have a little look just heading down the mountain here and you can see up above there to the right beautiful clear sky that's the direction of uh, south but uh, as we kind of head down and look down the valley you can see beyond the trees they're very very grey up behind the next mountain range to the north east of us very very grey now I was a bit disappointed in myself having uh, the technical issues yesterday so hopefully I'm going to go and get something that's going to be a small bit better today. Right, heading on down the mountain. First stop fuel, second stop, hopefully storms. So just heading to the junction of the two stations here. We've got one of the mobile travelling circuses here. One, two, three masks. Social distances, no. Oh, they're well controlled. Welcome to the virus, people. So in keeping with my fascination for clouds and weather and all sorts, because it is spectacular whenever, wherever, up in the mountains, you see, this is looking west, and it really is, <laughs> it seems clear behind it, but all this stuff that I said that I've been watching is all sort of the next valley over, the RCR valley over beyond. And whereas we've got a fairly clear situation above it seems to be all happening behind there and I'm not going to go over there because the roads will just be choked at this time of night this time of the evening, afternoon, whatever but just going back round and then looking back towards um, Lazor and looking more or less south that way then uh, you can see that, I mean, there's a lot of stuff been coming from the southeast, which is a strange direction. You can see that Lazor is beautifully bathed in sunshine, or at least 1650, the main station is. We're over to the right at 1800, they're slightly above it. It's still in a bit of cloud, it's this cloud above that's doing that. And so just looking round, a little bit of wind here as well. It's probably hearing that on the camera. But uh, I'm going to carry on down now, I just uh, thought I'd have a little look at this and the, the colours again, the sunset colours setting in even though it's not quite time for sunset yet but it's the clouds that are causing that effect. A little bit of a zoom opportunity and a view opportunity just to come round this bend and wow there's the lake, beautiful. <laughs> Now down here, just the next bend, all these warning signs and stuff, speed limit to 50, priority signs around the corner and whatnot. This is where we had a huge uh, landslide during the lockdown. You can see across the right there is where, uh, where, where it all basically covered the road and they're still uh, cutting it back, replacing all the services that were damaged underneath the side of the road as well. And. Uh, Big, big, big job, but they had that open again within a few days, so, but it was quite handy that it happened in the, in the coronavirus lockdown. There's the view ahead. Uh, because the road just wasn't getting used anyway. There's Umbra ahead. 
all that haziness seems to have gone. I think I've kind of missed the boat, as it were. But it's still nice to get a little trip down the mountain. Get off the get off the mountain, just for a wee trip. Just down to the fuel station here, and like many countries, the fuel stations associated with supermarkets tend to be the cheapest now. The Super 98 that I put in this, the good juice, 135.8, the cheapest of a normal 95 is 134.7. Don't know, maybe you could comment below and tell me how this compares with other countries. I know that there's people in other countries watch my videos, so uh, that would be interesting that one. Right, where will we go, oh dear. One little sidetrack here as well is that when, when I'm filling up the fuel, I love wearing the, these everywhere. These are my, my, my sunglasses cam. They're Polaroid, but the problem is, when I'm at the fuel station, I can't see the digits. Okay, all fueled up, but it seems to be a bit of a non-event, this storm. Exact opposite of what happened yesterday, where nothing was predicted and it all happened. So, just looking up, can just see beyond there. We've got uh, Lazar up there, sort of in sunshine. Again, much the same situation. Clouds are causing a few shadows and whatnot. But looking around, and the stuff in the south has kind of gone to nothing. Stuff to the north has kind of gone to nothing. All this dark, cloudy stuff gone to nothing. So. Looks like we could have a pretty spectacular sunset. So as ever, take off to do a video about something, I end up doing a video on something else. And, uh, wow, it's warm down here. It's about 35 degrees here. It was 25-ish when I left up, uh, up the mountain there. It's about a thousand meters higher, so about 10 degrees colder up there. So we're gonna nip for a, a quick McDonald's. Why not, not had one for a while. Do the drive through and uh, we'll see what transpires with the uh, you know, fans going in the car. See what transpires with this sunset tonight. Oui, bonsoir. Uh, deux double cheese, s'il vous plaît. Deux de double, ok. Ok. Uh, des frites aussi, petit frites. Petit frites, ketchup, mayonnaise? Uh, pas besoin, non. Ok. Et aussi uh, un bacon McMuffin, aussi. Egg bacon, ok. Okay, and also a café allongé, s'il vous plaît. Pardon, monsieur? Un café allongé. Allez, très bien. Okay, avec quatre sucres, pas juste les normal deux. Okay, pour les quatre sucres. Super. C'est bon, monsieur? C'est bon pour moi. Merci. Alors, du coup, ça prend 13,75 euros, s'il vous plaît. Fantastic. Okay, bon, merci. Into the dark. And make a payment. No fan going away like daft in the car here. It really is warm and humid down here. Busy time. So quarter to eight. All the tourists kind of finished all their daytime and late afternoon activities by the lake. Bonsoir. Super. Bon merci. Bon soirée. Right, so got my dinner. Just on the way out here, have a look at how ridiculously tight the exit of this is. I've got a small car, Citroen Saxo, Mini Merc. Imagine coming down here with a big car with low spoilers and stuff. Down there, what? You can see all the tire marks and the curbs. Uh, British car on Northern Irish plates ahead. 
So that was one a long time since I had a McDonald's. So uh, you can see behind me that system, whatever it was, storm, whatever, it just totally vanished. But the thing about me is my obsession with clouds and sunsets and stuff, it always works. So that's uh, just a little video from today. Thanks very much for watching. Remember, subscribe down there. Click on the alert bell for further notifications of uploads from Max Mountain World. Remember to make comments below, especially on the fuel price thing. I'd really find that quite interesting. And also you can click on the thumbs up or click on the thumbs down. Give me all the feedback. It's uh, all much, much appreciated. So, until the next video. Ciao.